Question 1. What is Codeinator? Answer. Codeinator is an open source framework for web application on PHP. It is loosely based on MVC pattern and it is similar to Cake PHP. Question 2. What are the most prominent features of Codeinator? Answer. A list of most prominent features of Code Igniter. Oh, it is an open source framework and free to use. Oh, it is extremely lightweighted. Oh, it is based on model view controller, MVC pattern. Oh, it has full featured database classes and support for several platforms. Oh, it is extensible. You can easily extend system by using your own libraries, helpers, etc. Oh, excellent documentation. Question 3. Explain Codeinator architecture. Answer. From technical point of view, Codeigniter is dynamically instantiation, lightweighted, loosely coupled. Components rely very less on each other and has component singularity. Each class and functions are narrowly focused towards their purpose. Question 4. How can you add or load a model in Codeinator? Answer. To load models in controller functions, use the following function. Dollar this greater than load greater than model model name. Question 5. How can you connect models to a database manually? Answer. To connect database manually use following syntax. Dollar this greater than load greater than database. Question 6. Explain views in Codeinator. Answer. View folder contains all the markup files like header, footer, sidebar, etc. They can be reused by embedding them anywhere in controller file. They can't call directly. They have to be loaded in the controller's file. Question 7. How can you load a view in Codeinator? Answer. View can't be accessed directly. It is always loaded in the controller file. Following function is used to load a view page. Dollar this greater than load greater than view page underscore name. Question 8. Explain controller in Codeinator. Answer. A controller is the intermediary between models and views to process HTTP request and generates a web page. It is the center of every request on your web application. Question 9. What is basic Codeinator URL structure? Answer. Instead of using query string approach, it uses a segment based approach. Its structure is as follows. abc.com slash class slash function id class represents controller class that needs to be invoked. Function is the method that is called id is any additional segment that is passed to controllers. Question 10. What is the default method name in Codeinator? Answer. By default controller always calls index method. If you want to call a different method then write it in the controller s file and specify its name while calling the function. Question 11. Explain remapping method calls in Codeinator. Answer. Second segment of URI determines which method is being called. If you want to override it, you can use underscore remap method. The underscore remap method always get called even if URI is different. It overrides the URI. Question 12. What is helper in Codeinator? How can you load a helper file? Answer. Helpers are the group of functions in a particular category that assist you to perform specific functions. In Codeigniter, there are many helpers like URL helpers, helping in creating links, text helpers, perform various text formatting routines, cookies helpers, set and read cookies. To load helper file, use the following command. Dollar this greater than load greater than model model name. Question 13. Explain Codeinator library. How will you load it? Answer. Codeigniter provides a rich set of libraries. It is an essential part of Codeigniter as it increases the developing speed of an application. It is located in the system slash library. It can be loaded as follows. Dollar this greater than load greater than library class underscore name. Question 14. How can you create a library in Codeinator? Answer. There are three methods to create a library. Oh, creating an entire new library or extending native libraries or replacing native libraries. Question 15. What is stable version of Codeinator? Answer. Version 3.0.5. Date January 13, 2016.